everyone, and welcome to another edition of Round Ball Roundup. They call him Prescott. I'm Dan. We've made it to the final Friday of the regular season in high school basketball. We're just one undefeated team remains on the boys' side. The Menden Vikings are a scoring machine. Eight times this season, they've scored 90 points or more. They're winning games by an average of 27 points. The Vikings had a big test tonight in Pittsburgh, hosting 15-2 and two, Greece Athena. Menden jumps out early. Long pass ahead to Connor Crabb underneath. He had 15 points for Menden. Vikings in front early. Athena answers. In the corner, it's DeAndre Newsom for three. Led the Trojans with 18 points tonight. Menden, though, ending the half strong. Mike Harrington, three of his game high, 27 points. Really Vikings in front by double digits. Then Croft again gets the feed, this time from Jacob Chatters. The drive, contact, throws it up, gets it to go. Menden keeps on winning, 83-57. The Vikings now 18-0. Great one tonight between C.G. Finney and North Star Christian. The Knights Ryan Garwood starting this one on fire. <laughs> en fuego, <laughs> sur le feu, that's French. Only a freshman hit six three-pointers in the first quarter. Finished with 20 points, but still looking like Steph Curry out there. Finney getting crafty in their bandbox of a gym. Keegan O'Cor, pressure on defense, gets the turnover the other way for the bucket. But North Star shooters were terrific tonight, and they needed to be. Jake Terrell in the corner for three. This one was close late. North Star hangs on. 84-81 over C.G. Finney. To Roberts Wesleyan College, a dangerous U prep team hosting Aquinas. First quarter, game tied 7-7, but the grits exploded. Ja'Kai Lucas to Christian Jefferson and won eight straight from U prep. And they love to run. Off the miss, Lucas up to Harold Boggs McCullough. 17-2 run U prep to end the first quarter. But in the second, Aquinas strikes back. Lucas, Luke Putnam right in your grill. Can't leave a shooter open. Knocks down the three. Irish within a dozen. But right before the half, Lucas the steal, the Euro step, the finish, the win for the Griffs. They win 68-49. How about the Battle of the Birds? East hosting School of the Arts. Ka -ka. First quarter. There it is. Jump out. The Silverhawks jump out early. Ethan Clark D'Souza into the paint and gets the roll. Next trip, Logan Hayes finds ECD, that's the abbreviation for him, in the corner. He had 20 points. Soda up 8-2, to two, but East dialed up the defense after that. They forced the turnover. That leads to a Corey Barley layup. More from East coming up. Then Chaz Washington finds Zachariah Harris Scott down low. Takes it easy on the rim today. He had 13. We were tied up after one. Second quarter, Washington takes it himself into the lane. He had a dozen points. Dylan Scott not featured. He had a game high 23. East runs away with it in the second half, 71 49. How about a good one in Livingston County? Cal Mum hosting Avon. Third quarter, it started raining threes. Final minute. Eric Wilson from deep, and he's all hopped up on Mountain Dew. 15 seconds later, don't blink. Connor Taylor, he'll have a three, please. Team high, 14 points for Taylor. Not done. Then Molisani, it's contagious, another three. He had 17 points. Kelmum up four, heading to the fourth. Shot clock winding down. Wilson just throws it up. Banks open, game high, 19 points for the captain. Kelmum wins 57-50. They are now 17 and one. Girls Hoops, Penfield coming off their loss to Bishop Carney. They had their hands full at Hilton tonight. Late second quarter, Megan Letta drives baseline and hits the floater. Cadets only down two at the half. Early third quarter, Legge to Megan Schiano, the fake, and nails the mid-range jumper. We're all tied up at 23. Yeah, points were hard to come by. Bailey Teal, though, had a really strong second half. Drains the three, puts the Patriots back on top the very next trip. Brian Moxley goes lefty off the glass. Penfield up five, but in the fourth quarter of the play of the game, Katie Rainier, the hustle, diving past the Moxley for the finish. She had 24 points. Penfield gets the hard-fought victory, 44-36. Rockport, winners of six straight. Blue Devils hosting Greece Arcadia this evening. First half, Blue Devils on the move. Gigi Allen stops, pops. Money. Rockport in front by six. Arcadia trying to get the ball inside. They find Anna Duker. Only a sophomore wins the battle down low. But Rockport got 18 points from Bryn Hayes, 14 from Emma Loriano. Here's 
Doralis Allen for two. Brockport winners 57-37. Blue Devils also 17-1 this season. For now, good. coming up, the ship be sinking for the Buffalo Sabres. Players are calling out each other the latest as a long season finds a way to reach a new low. Just lost in translation, Prescott. <laughs> but things are going well for the Amherst. Would that run continue tonight against Springfield? Highlights ahead, but first, more Section 5 scores. You're watching Round Ball Roundup. Well, former Section 5 star Thomas Bryant in action tonight in the NBA scored 13 points for the Wizards in a win over the Cavaliers. Coming up tomorrow, as Prescott just said, Cuse and BC at 2 against the 2nd rank and 23rd ranked UB takes on Central Michigan at 3.30. But that is tomorrow. We are done for now. The regular season comes to a close on Thursday. No round ball roundup next Friday. We will be back on the 22nd. We'll be back. Is next. Stay tuned for that. For Dan, I'm Prescott. We'll see you in the playoffs. Playoffs? Playoffs. Bye for now.